what attracted you to this project? Uh, I liked, I just like the story. It's just a really nice, you know, wholesome movie. Yeah, um, it's just really enjoyable. You don't need to, you know, really think or, you know, you, can, you, know, you can kind of just leave with a, a nice warm smile on your face just for two hours, just, you know, a nice movie. And how did you get involved? Uh, just through the regular auditioning process of, you know, and then I ended up, you know, um, testing with Michelle and reading with her and next thing you know, we're making a movie. Can you tell me about your character a little bit? Uh, yeah, Teddy Harwood um, is uh, the not just the Zamboni driver at the rink, which he does, but he's kind of more the maintenance guy. Basically, takes care of the ice, the whole rink itself, and he's the uh, love interest to Michelle's character, Casey, and uh, kind of the father figure for uh, my mother, Kim, and um, Hayden, my sister. So he's kind of adopted this, you know, sub ma um, you know, man of the house type role. How was it working with the Zamboni? <laughs> it was cool. It was lots of fun. The Zamboni was lots of fun. Uh, you know, trained for a little bit to figure out, kind of get comfortable with it and understand what, all the gears and what it does and how it works. And after that, it was, you know, I was doing the floods for the girls as they'd come on and skate. So. And can you tell me a little bit about your love interest? In My love? Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, because I work at the rink, you know, the same type of figure skating, you know, type comes in, I guess. But then uh, Casey, Michelle's character, walks into the rink and she's kind of different. And at first, uh, my character Teddy doesn't know what to think of that. Um, you know, he's a little in maybe intimidated, but there's definitely an attraction. I think, and he's ultimately the first person that really sees what she can become or what she does become at the end. He sees that in her at the beginning and encourages her all the way. And what was it like working with Kim Cattrall? Kim Cattrall, she's amazing. I can't say enough about her. She's the most professional, down-to-earth person I've ever worked with. So I learned a lot from her, and she's, she's a lot of fun, too. Did you get an opportunity to get on the ice with any of the skaters? Um, <laughs> no, I, sometimes I play pickup hockey games with the crew and stuff, but no, uh, you know, thank God, fortunately, just seeing the, you know, their, what they had to go through with training and stuff, and I'm glad I didn't. And can, do you have a favorite scene in the film? Favorite scene? Oh, there's, a, there's a lot of nice scenes in the movie. Um, I like uh, the scene for Michelle, my, my, I mean, for a scene that I'm in, actually. Um, the, you know, the kind of the hero scene where I come down and rescue Michelle as she's skating on the pond and getting, uh, you know, bruised and battered from the bumps, and I come down on the Zamboni and smooth it out. I think that's a nice scene. Yeah, right when you come over that the hill. hill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, can you, what, what was your first thoughts when you read the script, when you finished reading that for the first time? I thought it was funny, and I, I was really, uh, it, I, I loved the way it, it you know, you know, educated the, the viewer on figure skating, you know, if, if it's a whole foreign thing, which it was to me. I, I didn't know anything about it other than what I'd seen in the Olympics. I love the way that, you know, um, it managed to do that, but it, at the same time there's a, a whole other story going on, you know, and, and I love the way that there's so many, there's something everyone can relate to. Like, I could relate to a lot of the struggles that all the characters were going through in the film, you know, which is very real. It's kind of interesting because there's always that, when you're getting into something like athlete, athletics or the arts sometimes people have that struggle because it's not like a for sure thing and all of that yeah why do you think that it's so important to get that out there and to let people know that message yeah because I think maybe a lot of people uh, wanted you know uh, you know aspire to something but you know maybe because they're through school and everything they're swayed an another path because it's exactly it's not you know it's not a for sure thing you know and and, and this move just and you know because of that maybe they become miserable or for some reason you know and this move just says to go for it and and, uh, you know, there's going to be obstacles for sure. Everything in life, there's going to be obstacles that you have to overcome to achieve that or achieve something. And it, it, this movie kind of just encourages you to just go for it, and it'll pay off for sure. What do you think, what do you hope your audience will walk away feeling and thinking after this film? Well, I think for, um, for the, the figure skating fans, I don't think they'll be disappointed at all. I think they'll, they'll go and love it and actually realize there's a whole other story behind that, you know. And for the people who weren't figure skating fans, I think they'll be pleasantly surprised at how much they leave having respect for the sport, enjoying it, and just enjoying the movie. I think it's just a really nice movie. And I think people just leave with a nice feeling, um, you know, that, you know, a lot of movies nowadays are, you know, controversial. There's something, you know, uh, this movie is just a really fun movie that everyone can enjoy. And then I just have one last question. What was, what was it in your upbringing or while you were growing up, just like, that made you want to get involved with this business? Um, well, I went to an art school and uh, got, I found myself getting really uh, uh, attracted to the drama department there. So just through that whole process of, you know, 
joining uh, amateur theater companies and performing with them and working my way into professional theater and then just kind of the steps up from there I found myself you know um, I found myself given the opportunity to maybe get involved in the the Toronto film industry which is where I'm from and then next thing you know I guess I'm, I'm sitting here in this chair.